Hey everybody, thanks for looking into my channel today. Super Hooded Man Cruises. I love cruising. Let's talk about cruising. Hey, I've been looking on Facebook and some of the groups I'm part of and on the uh, message boards and a lot of people, especially first time cruisers, they've been talking about the cheers package. Hey, what what's it included? What's not included? What you know, what do you get for your money? Is it worth it? Hey. Let me take some time. Let me explain the whole thing to you. Um, let me just show you what it is, show you what's included, what's not included, the cost, and Let's talk about is it worth it for you, okay? So let's just take a moment. Hey, let's go check it out. Okay, everybody, here's the, uh, let me explain the cheers package to you. So I got a little, a few slides for you. The, um, so you can buy it two ways. You can purchase it before the cruise or when you get on the cruise, okay? It's cheaper to purchase before the cruise. It is $49.95 per person per day plus a 15% gratuity, okay? That's when you purchase it on the carnival's website okay um so an example five day cruise 49.95 times five days equals 249 dollars and 75 cents so now they got a 15 percent gratuity so 249.75 times 0.15 your gratuity is 37.46 okay so we're going to add the 249.75 and a 37.46 it's going to be 287.21 per person okay so that's per person now, of course, Carnival does say that everyone in the room, 21 years of older, if one person wants it, the other person has to get it. So we'll just say double occupancy. So we'll take the 287.21. We'll times it by the number of people in the room for two. So the total would be 574.42 for a five day cruise. Seven day cruise, same thing. You're 49.95 times seven, 349.65. You take that price times by 0.15 for your gratuity, that's 15%. So it's fifty uh fifty two dollars and forty four cents. You add that to the three forty nine sixty five, and gives you four hundred dollars four hundred two dollars and nine cents per person. Of course, double occupancy with two people in the room. That's over twenty one. So we times that by two. Your total would be eight hundred four dollars and nineteen cents. So that's the first way of purchasing is purchasing it on Carnival's website before you cruise. Now, if you do wait to purchase it once you get on the ship, maybe you want to think about it, the price goes up, okay? It goes up to $54.95 per person per day, plus the 15% gratuity. So, again, the example would be your five-day cruise. Same math. You, you, 54.95 times 5, 274.75. 274.75 times 0 0.15 for your gratuity. Uh, the gratuity would be forty-one dollars and twenty-one cents. So you add that forty-one dollars and twenty-one cents to the two hundred seventy-four dollars and seventy-five cents, gives you three hundred fifteen dollars ninety-six cents per person for the entire cruise. We're going to multiply that by two because we're going to have two people in your room over twenty-one. We're just assuming that just for uh, math purposes here. Um, gives you a grand total of six hundred thirty-one dollars and ninety-two cents. That's for a five-day cruise purchasing the Cheers package once you get on the ship. Okay. And the seven day cruise, same math, total with two people in the room comes out to $884.69. Okay, that's purchasing purchasing on the cruise ship that first day. Okay, so let's do a little comparison here. So we got on the left side is pre cruise, on the right side is the, you know, the first embarkation day, your first day on a cruise ship, on a cruise. So five day with two people, pre cruise, $574.42 compared to if you purchased it on the the day you get on the ship, it would be six hundred thirty-one dollars and ninety-two cents. Seven day would be eight hundred four dollars nineteen cents uh, pre-cruise, and cruise day would be eight hundred eighty-four dollars sixty-nine cents. So as you can see, on a five-day cruise, you can save fifty-seven dollars and fifty cents by purchasing Cheers prior to your cruise, and on a seven-day cruise, you can save eighty dollars and fifty cents by purchasing the Cheers prior to your cruise. So if you purchase it. On Carnival's website prior to your cruise, you save money. If you wait to cruise day and purchase it, purchase the cheers package once you get on the ship on that first day, you know, you're gonna pay you're gonna pay this difference right here. So it is you know, if you know you're gonna want the package, it's best to buy it beforehand. And uh, I'll go over how if you do want to cancel it, you can cancel it later on and uh We'll go over that in a minute, but let's talk about what's included with the chairs package. So you can get this information off the uh, Carnival's website. It's all I did, got the information, but I'm explaining it to you. So what's included? So you get all spirits, including cocktails, cognacs, whiskeys, and other spirits, as well as beer, wine, and champagne by the glass. With a $50 USD or lower menu price per serving. So what does that mean? 
all alcohol is included. Okay, beer, mixed drinks, your your frozen alcoholic drinks like uh, Miami Vice. You know, I'll, I'll reference Miami Vice a lot when I'm talking here because I love that drink when I'm on a Carnival cruise ship. Um, but everything that that has alcohol in it, okay, every drink, that's what's included. Shots, uh, shots at the bar, shots at the nightclub, comedy club, things like that. Those are included, okay. Zero proof frozen cocktails, including smoothies, sodas, including specialty sodas and juices. So what that means is that everything else is included, okay? You know, zero proof frozen cocktails, you know, like it says, smoothies or, you know, a virgin daiquiri, um, in anything of that nature. All the sodas are included, so you do not have to purchase the Bubbles program if you have the Cheers program. I see a lot of people on the Facebook pages that I'm part of, they ask, well, you know, is sodas included with the cheers, or do I have to buy both? No. If you get cheers, you you have everything. Okay. All sodas are included. All juices, everything is included. Okay. So specialty coffees, hot tea served in the main dining room, specialty restaurants and coffee bars. So let's take the Carnival Dream for example. They have a coffee shop. You can go to the coffee shop, get all your your different specialty coffees. Uh, White chocolate mochas, the caramel mochiatas, you know, all those, uh, anything you can think of, all that's included. So it's free with it. Your teas in the, in the main dining room is also included. Any drink that's not alcoholic is included. Basically, everything is included with this package. Okay? Milkshakes were applicable. If whatever ship you're on, if they offer milkshakes, it's included. You can get it. No additional charge. It's all included. Rockstar energy drinks, Powerade, vitamin water, coconut water, and tea. All of it's included. You know, when I go on cruises, every now and then I'll get a Rockstar drink. I'll go down to the um, the uh, the coffee bar, and I'll just get a, a can of Rockstar. Uh, it's included. They don't charge you anything extra for it. The Powerades are included. What's great is that a 500 milliliter bottle of water, which is just a regular bottle of water, regular 16.9 fluid ounces of water, and other non-alcoholic bottled beverages served in bars and lounges are included. If you're out there and you're, you know, say you're at the pool, you've been drinking some alcohol, well, I want a bottle of water. Well, you tell the, the waiter going around, you go up to the bar, it's like, I want a bottle of water. They'll give you a bottle of water. It is included. Okay. Now, when you're when you're out and about on the boat, those large bottles, those one liter bottles, those are not included when you're out and about on the boat. But you can get a large format of one liter, one and a half liter bottles of water in the main dining room and specialty restaurants. So at night, when you're either at your your six o'clock, your eight o'clock, or your anytime dining, you can get those large waters there and it's included. Outside of that restaurant, you can only get the 500 milliliter bottle of water, okay? And uh, just be careful with those waters in your room. I'll, I will talk about that later on in another video. <laughs> just, uh, you know, you'll get charged for those if uh, you're not a gold member on up, okay? So just be careful with anything in your room. Also, you get 25% discount off the menu price for any spirit, cocktail, or wine by the glass costing above $50 per serving. Um, you know, say, hey, you're at the dining room at night, main dining room, and you want a very expensive glass of wine. Maybe it costs 60 bucks, 70 bucks. Well, you'll get a 25% discount off the menu price for that, okay? Has to be under $50 to be included. You also can get a 25% discount off the menu price for wine and champagne by the bottle or larger format water bottles purchased outside of main dining rooms or specialty restaurants. So take, you know, if you want wine in your room, wine, champagne, somewhere that's not in the dining room, it's not going to be included by the bottle I'm talking about. It's not going to be included, but you can get a 25% discount off that price. Uh, and those large bottled waters, those one liter waters, if you want one, the yeah, Carnival will be glad to give it to you, but they're going to charge you outside the main dining room. Um, but you'll get a 25% discount. Honestly, I, I don't see any point in getting a large bottle of water outside. Um, you can get the small bottle of waters. They're unlimited. And... You know, you can also pre-purchase beverages, too. We can go over that in another video. I'm just talking about cheers right now. But that's how that works. And also, you can get a 25% discount off beverage seminars and classes. Personally, I've never <laughs> had done this. Um, I've never even seen beverage seminars and classes. But if they offer it, you'll get a 25% discount off of it. 
So let's talk about what's not included, okay? Beverages promoted and sold in souvenir glasses. The best example of this is when you're at night in the main dining room for dinner, or people call it supper, whatever you call it, wherever you're from. Um, you're going to sit down, you're going to eat your dinner. There's going to be two waiters going around. One's going to be holding a tray of shots in a souvenir glass. So one's going to be walking around with his little pad to write your sale and sign account information down. That shot is not included in the cheers package because that is in a souvenir glass. Though I, I forget what the price of those shots are. I want to say around somewhere between $10 and $15 for the shot. But you get to keep the glass. Okay, That's why it's not included with the cheers package. Be careful. Okay. If you don't know if it's included or want to know, just ask the waiters, waitresses, anybody. They will tell you, okay? Because if you get that shot at the dining room, you're going to get charged for it. So moving on, um, bottles of liquor not included. You, you just you can't go to the bar and say, "Hey, I want a bottle of Patron." It, you know, it doesn't work like that. <laughs> so just know that bottles are not not included. Beverages offered at the gangway. So what that means is, uh, oops, I'm sorry, let me get rid of this. I'm sorry about that. But uh, beverages offered at the gangway. What that means is that, let's, let's take Cozumel, for example. Once you get to Cozumel, you're going to get off the ship. As you're getting off the ship, Carnival is going to have employees down there with ice chests and buckets full of waters and Gatorades, things like that, that you can purchase on your way out. Oh man, I'm getting more stuff. Let's cancel. I'm sorry about all that. But um, beverages also at the gangway. So as you're going out, they'll be glad to, to swipe your sale and sign account and charge you for those waters and Gatorades at that point. Okay. So be careful. You can't, you will get charged for those at the gangway. But if you go to the bar and say, hey, I want a, a water, they'll give you a small bottle of water or the Gatorade, which is all included. It's just at the point when you're exiting a ship, they will not, that's not included, they will charge you as you're exiting the ship on the gangway to get out into Cozumel, Grand Cayman, Jamaica, Bali, I mean, anywhere you go. So that's there. Beverages offered through room service, many bars, and or other in-state room beverage programs. So I'm going to just tell you, just be careful with what's in your room. If you have, of course, when you walk into your room, every room is going to have two large bottles of water, okay? If you're a first-time cruiser and you do not want to pay for that water, do not drink it. When you become, I believe it's gold and above, you automatically get, each person in the room gets a free, a free liter of water. Now, that water is going to be labeled. It's going to have a little tag on it. It's going to tell you, hey, this bottle costs this much. And if you're gold and above, you'll have your free ones. and You'll, you'll know which one that is. So if you don't want to pay for that water, don't drink it because it's not included. If you have a mini bar in your room and <laughs> you have drinks in that room, if you don't want to be charged for it, don't drink it because they will charge you for that. That is not included in the Cheers program. Anything that is inside your room is not included in the Cheers program. Also goes to say that if you order through room service, that's not going to be covered under Cheers also. Okay. So just be careful with what's in your room. Now, sharing cocktails, floaters, pitchers, tubes, and buckets. They do not allow sharing. That is their main reason why they, if you have two people in a room and both are 21 or older, that is why they make both people purchase the Cheers program. If you know, if you got, you know, a boyfriend, girlfriend in a room, husband, wife in a room, you know, maybe only the husband wants the Cheers and the wife does not want it. Yeah, unfortunately can't do that once you go onto the cheers website and you're going to say hey you know here's my room i'm going to order the cheers package it's going to automatically charge both parties the uh the total that's why when i was explaining the cost that's why i always had times two because it's two people okay so just know that that that's their policy that's how they want it they don't want people sharing i guess they've had that problem in the past and you know look their business they want to make money so, you know, that's just, that's their policy. That's what they are. That's what they do. Beverages offered through automatic wine machines and self-serve beer stations. My God, I have not been on a ship that has that. That would be awesome. But uh, hopefully soon, one day, I will get to go on a ship that has that. But obviously, if they have that, that is not included in the cheers package. So just, you know, take caution. 
all other beverage related programs including merchandise cigars and cigarettes I mean and, and food items there at last but um, you know if it's not served at the bar uh, at the nightclub at the comedy club um, in the dining room things like that it's it's going to be extra okay um, maybe they're offering something at the liquor store on board Okay, anything off of the liquor store on board is not covered under cheers. Okay, and for first time cruisers, you'll see what I'm talking about. You'll go into the liquor store, and I mean, you'll have this ginormous bottle of vodka that you can purchase, and uh, no, that is not covered. Okay, and obviously, any food items are not covered because this does not have to do anything with food, it's just um, alcoholic drinks and regular drinks. So, you know, cheers covers all your alcoholic drinks and all your non alcoholic drinks. So restrictions. Now let's talk about you know what <laughs> some of the things. Like I said, guests must be 21 years or older to purchase and agree not to give to minors. That's just common sense right there. I would hope people had that common sense. Um, e like I said, each adult assigned to the same stateroom must purchase the program. That's each adult 21 years or older. If you have two people in a room, both 21 years and older, Carnival says both people must purchase the cheers package or none can have it. Okay. What if I got a family in the room? I got a 40-year-old dad, a 40-year-old mom, an 18-year-old son, and a 19-year-old daughter. Okay. Well, obviously, yeah, the only people that in that room that could get the cheers package is the mom and dad, who are both 40. The other two 18- and 19-year-olds cannot get it because they're not of age, according to Carnival's rules. Okay. Even though they do travel to other countries, that some countries have a lower drinking age, Carnival obeys... Carnival ships obey the laws of the United States, 21 years. So that's just how it works. The, the 18 and 19 year old could have the Bubbles program, which is just, you know, your uh, sodas and things like that. And I'll talk about that later on in another video. But 21 years of age or older, whoever's in that room, if one person gets it, everyone who's 21 years of age or older must have it. So the guests must purchase the program for the entire cruise. Now this program is not offered on a per day basis. So you can purchase it either online before your cruise and all you'd have to do is go, you know, log into your account and get into your cruise details right there and go into the uh, fun shops and find the drinking packages and you'll see cheers there somewhere and you click it. Once you click it, it'll let you. It's it's going over. You're going to calculate whoever's 21 years of age or older in that room. It's already going to calculate and let you know what the price is going to be. You know, I've already showed you the price what it'll be. So you just go from there. Um, but like it's it's not. You can only purchase it prior to your cruise, and on the very first day of your cruise, when you're when you get on that ship, that is the only time you can purchase it. Once, let's take a seven-day cruise out of New Orleans. You know, hey, I'm from the New Orleans area, so I'll reference it a lot. I get on the Carnival Dream on Sunday, so I can either purchase it up until my cruise date prior, or on that Sunday when I get on a ship, there's going to be some little booths set up. You'll you'll definitely see them. You're not going to miss them. Hey, I want to purchase it, and just remember, like I said prior. The price is going to go up a little bit if you wait to purchase it on the ship. So just keep that in mind. Okay. Now once that first day is over, you cannot purchase it. The carnival does not, does not allow that. Um, now, Cheers is non-refundable. If the program is purchased prior to the cruise, it is refundable up to 11.59 p.m. Eastern Time the evening prior to the cruise departure. So this is what I said, that if you purchase it prior... You do have a chance to cancel if you don't want it, okay? You have up until 11.59 p.m. Eastern Time on the evening prior to the cruise departure. So just keep that in mind. So price adjustment up or down implemented on a day of sailing will replace any previously advertised price. That's basically saying that it's pretty common sense. If the price goes up before the day of sailing, you may have to pay a little extra. If the price goes down, they'll probably just give you some on-board credit. Guaranteed the price is not going down, but... uh. Only one drink at a time may be ordered. Sharing is not permitted. Ordering a double shot would be considered ordering two drinks. Therefore, you cannot order a double shot. So here we go. You can order. You can only order one drink at a time. So if I go up to the bar, myself, I can only order one drink. If my wife was with me, even though we're in the same room, 
she has her own card okay remember it's per person per day okay I get my drink she can get her drink that's how it works and like it says you can't get double shots because they don't give you two at a time so the program allows for unlimited zero proof beverages but only one beverage at a time may be ordered sharing is not permitted again this is the same thing the first one was talking about alcoholic beverages. Now this one's talking about your Cokes. Your, I forgot if they got Coke or Pepsi on there. Um, like I get Mr. Pibbs. I forget. Um, I forget Mr. Pibbs. Pepsi or a product or Coke product. But uh, whatever it is. I get Mr. Pibb. I get my Mr. Pibb. I can only get one at a time. I can't get two cans at a time. So it's the same thing. Now there is also a five minute wait between ordering drinks. If I get on my aunt. The first day, let me just give you an example. The very first day of the cruise, when you get on that ship, you're going to see the waiters walking around with a, a drink called the Fun Ship. I love it. It's delicious. I'll have a few of those that day. Okay? So I get a Fun Ship. Now, once I receive that drink, I have to wait five minutes before I can get another drink. Now, I'm probably going to sip on this. This is going to last longer than five minutes. But let's take, uh, like, a Coke, for example. If I get a Coke, they're going to give me my Coke. If I'm really, really thirsty, I can drink that Coke real fast. I won't get another one. Well, it's only been 4 minutes and 30 seconds. That computer is not going to allow the bartender to give you another one until it hits 5 minutes. You know, it's, it's a hot day. It's a sea day. It's a hot day. You get a, a bottle of water. And you just down it real quick. Now you want another one. Well, you're going to have to wait that 5 minutes to get another drink. So guests may purchase a round of drinks for themselves and friends. One drink will count towards the cheers program, and the random drinks will be charged to get sound sound account. So here's a little trick that you can do that if you're if you're a real big drinker and you're gonna go over your limit. We haven't talked about the limit yet, but the limit's 15 and 24 hour period of alcoholic drinks. Okay, remember I said alcoholic drinks. So I'm gonna tell you about the little trick in a minute. Program allows up to 15 alcoholic drinks per 24 hour period. That lasts from 6 a.m. to 6 a.m. Okay, once that limit is reached, you guess will not receive any additional alcoholic drinks. Okay, let's combine those two. You drink, you hit your 15 max on alcoholic drinks. Remember, this alcohol only. You can you have unlimited amounts of all your non-alcoholic drinks, cokes, um, milkshakes, coffees, rock stars, all those things, your teas. You have unlimited amount of those. It's only you're only allowed 15 alcoholic drinks in a 24-hour period. Okay, so once you reach that limit, the computer system is not going to allow you to get any more drinks. Okay, it's not it's not the bartenders the way it's not their fault. So don't get mad at them. I see a lot of people get mad at them at them, but they can't do nothing because once you your stay on the sign card, once you swipe it, it's a computer system. It's gonna tell. It's gonna say you know we can't give any more. Okay, little trick to get around that. It's it's getting late at night. You're still drinking. You're still drinking. Okay, you've hit number fourteen, and maybe you're just in a comedy club. Okay, you're still gonna go to the nightclub after. What you do from that point? Do not swipe your car for that number fifteen drink. What you do is you go to the bartender. You tell him, Mister Bartender, I would like to purchase so and so drink from my friend over there. At that point. He will then charge your sale and sign account for uh, whatever drink it was, and he'll give it to you. You're not, you know, once you because you don't want to hit that free one yet. Once you know that your night's probably pretty much over, go ahead and get your last free one, okay? But just remember, it's going to reset at 6 a.m. every day. 6 a.m. it resets. So it's just a little way to get around if you if you do want to drink a little more. Because I know what this, the, the only time you're really going to really do that is on sea days. Um, so it's just a little trick to get around it. What else? Program only applicable for onboard purchases. Um, we're going to talk about this a little bit later. Um, but it only works on the ship. Okay. There's other places that Carnival has, that we'll talk about in a few minutes, that you cannot purchase once you get off the ship. Remember, when you're going into the gangway to get off the ship, say in Cozumel, they're going to be trying to sell you drinks. Cheers does not cover that. Okay. Same thing once you get off the ship into the port. There may be places, I've been to places before where, uh, a good example I've went to and recently was Mahogany Bay, Isla Roatan, in uh, Belize. No, Honduras, I'm sorry. But I uh, went down there. 
to the beach area. Now, I see a lot of people, the sale and sign card, the sale and sign card go up and try to purchase alcohol and food with it. Well, I have the cheers, so I know I can get the alcohol. It doesn't work off the ship, okay? Those are totally different entities off the ship than what is what the ship is. So just remember, you can't go off the ship and use your cheers package. All bottles and cans will be served open. Uh, simple, like, uh, like I said, I like Mr. Pibbs. Um, I'll get a Mr. Pibb. Would they give you a glass? They open the can for you. They'll pour it in, or they'll just give you the open can and the glass of ice. Okay, you're not going to get a can that's closed or a bottle that's closed. And Carnival obviously does reserve the right to refuse service for any reason. Um, you know, uh, <laughs> I think spring break might be a great example of when these college kids get on these ships uh, who are of age and they get to drink. You know, sometimes we all go a little overboard when we're that age, so they can cut you off. Uh, it's just going to happen. So let's look at this. Applicable, I can't even say the word, applicable state and local taxes will be charged to the guest folio when this program is used within U.S. waters. The tax is based on a state's tax structure and the cost of the individual drink purchase, not the daily program rate. For example, if the drink price is $5 and the tax is 10%, the guest sale and sign card will be charged $0.50 cents for tax. This applies to all U.S. parts ports, embarkation home ports, and ports of call. I will break this down to you real easy. Carnival Dream out of New Orleans, okay, or the Carnival Triumph. Okay, I sell out of New Orleans a lot. In the Mississippi River, you, okay, it's gonna go down the Mississippi River, get down to the Gulf, okay. While that ship is in the Mississippi River, it is still considered inside of the United States. The United States will get their money, okay. You're going, if you have the Cheers package, as long as you're in the Mississippi River, you will be charged a tax on each drink. Take a take a, like a Miami Vice, okay? It's a it's a an alcoholic frozen drink. If I get one, I'm not sure of the price offhand. It's somewhere around about eight bucks. It's going to charge me a certain tax, and I don't know the exact tax, but it's usually it's somewhere around like twenty five cents or thirty cents something like that for each drink while I'm in the Mississippi River. Once we get out the Mississippi River into the Gulf of Mexico, there's no more taxes. Okay, you know it, it's just it's just how the laws work. Okay, so while you're in the Mississippi River on that first night when you're sailing out, you will be charged a very small tax for each drink that you order. Okay, so usually it's me and my wife. We'll go on a cruise. We'll have, you know, when I get on board, I'll order a fun ship drink. Me and my wife will get a fun ship. So that's two drinks. One for me, one for my wife. You know, we each have the cheers, so we each get 15 each. Um, but each of us will be charged somewhere around, uh, I would say around 30 cents a piece, okay? So on our sale and sign account that's together, that's 60 cents. So it's going to show up 30, 30 cents and 30 cents. So that that's all that is. And that's the only place that you have to worry about it is when you're in the States going out. I know in New Orleans... It's as, as long as you're in Mississippi River, you're getting charged taxes. Once you get out into the Gulf, once you hit the mouth of the Mississippi and get out into the Gulf, there's no more tax. Um, I've never sailed out of Galveston, but I'm sure as soon as you get into the Gulf out of Galveston, well, <laughs> let me take that back. Galveston's a little different. Uh, we'll talk about that in a minute. Um, but Miami, I've sailed out of Miami. Once you get out into international waters, the taxes stop. Um, it's just that simple. Don't don't try to overcomplicate it. It's just that simple. Okay. So due to state laws, Carnival cannot sell Cheers until the second day of the cruise, starting at 6 a.m. for voyages departing from our Texas and New York home ports. Drinks purchased on the first day of the cruise will be charged to the guest sale and sign card in the usual manner. When purchased on the second day of the cruise, guests are charged for the remaining days only. Cruise duration less one day. That's why I stopped myself when I was talking about Texas out of Galveston. Okay, Gal uh, Texas and New York have a look. That's their state laws. You can't do anything about it. It's just how it is. There's no use in fussing with Carnival about it. You are not allowed to. Uh, your cheers is not activated on that first day. So what Carnival does, right at the end, it says. Uh, you know, the guests are charged for remaining days only. So if you pre-purchase the Cheers program on a seven-day cruise out of Galveston, Texas, you're actually only going to get charged for six days because they have to minus that first day. On that first day, 
if you want alcoholic drinks, any drinks at all, you're going to have to pay normal, you know, pay the price and the, and the tax associated with it the whole time, okay? So out of Texas and New York, just know that that first day, Cheers is not activated until your second day on the cruise. And at the bottom, for those guests who pre-purchase Cheers, it will be activated upon boarding the ship, except for ships sailing from Texas and New York, every OEM. But guests will receive a note in their stateroom advising them to go to the bar to receive their sticker, which is placed on their sail and sign card. In the event, guests do not go to their stateroom once the sail and sign card is swiped. It is flagged and the bartender will provide the sticker. For ships sailing from Texas and New York, Cheers will be activated at 6 a.m. on the second day of the cruise. Very simple. When you board the ship, you... When you get to the Lido deck where lunch is served, you're going to see two tables. You're going to see, or it might just be one combined, a cheers and a bubbles table. All you got to do is walk up. Hey, I purchased cheers. They'll look you up, and there's a little sticker they put on your sale and sign card. If you skip all that, look, you can go to any bar. They'll have the sticker for you. Um, as soon as you go to use the card, uh, casino, bar, anywhere, if they know, if it flags it on a career that, hey, you're a cheers, Participant and you don't have the sticker, they'll give you a sticker. You don't have to worry about it. It's all on a computer and it can easily be taken care of. If there's ever any issues, all you gotta do is go to customer services and they'll take care of you. But just know that once you have your sale and sign card, um, I know in New Orleans, when you check in at the port, you get your card at check-in and you have to swipe it to get on the ship. It's it's already activated, so you don't have to worry about it. Um, and the last of the restrictions um, just says group bookings consisting of 30, a minimum of 30 adults can purchase cheers prior to the cruise by contacting group event planning. All adult guests in a group must purchase the program. All minors in a group must purchase bottles. That has to do with, uh, you know, big group bookings. I don't, you know, it, it, look, if, if you're in a group, if you're in a group booking, all the adults are going to have to purchase it and the minors are going to have to add bubbles. That's just Carnival's, uh policies so it's just for group bookings i don't really focus too much on that and for pre pre-purchase orders a message card will be placed in the guest state report embarkation day with the following annotation please bring your sale and sign card to the casino bar to activate the program the sticker will be placed on the card for the use of the cheers program in the event guests do not go to the state room once the sale and sign card is swiped it is flagged and the bar staff will provide the sticker same thing i explained earlier um, you'll get your little sticker eventually sometime on day one you'll get your little sticker put on the card and it'll say cheers on it. If you forget to do it, once you go to order a drink, uh, maybe it's later in the evening, afternoon. Oh, hey, you know, you don't have your cheers. Let me give you a cheers sticker. And they'll just put it on for you. So cheers. Not offered on the following. You cannot get cheers on a two-day cruise. I think it's two, three. I'm not sure about the fours. I think you can get it on fours, but uh, I definitely know on two-day cruise, three-day cruise, you cannot get it. Okay, um, charter cruises. Obviously, uh, you know some big group wants to charter a cruise ship. You know, obviously, it's not going to be offered. Cheers is not going to be offered on those cruises. And ships sailing from Australia. You know, obviously, Australia has different rules than uh, United States does, so that's just their policies. And beverage purchases made at Half Moon K and Princess K's in the Bahamas. This is what I was talking about earlier when you get off the ship. Half Moon K and Princess K's in the Bahamas is owned by Carnival. Small Little Island is owned by Carnival. Okay. When you, but you have to think of it as a separate company. When you get off that ship at Half Moon K, while you're on the ship, your cheers package works at the bars, at the you know, nightclubs, things like that. When you get off at Half Moon K and go to the beach, even though that place is owned by Carnival, your Cheers package does not work at Half Moon K or Princess K's. So just remember that. Okay, it does not work off the ship. So, Cheers, you know, this is the big question that everybody asks. You know, is it worth it? Is it worth it? Some people, yeah, I get it all the time. Some people, I don't drink enough. I, you know, it, it's not worth the money. Um, look, I found a little picture online. I, I love this. I love how this person broke it down, and it's a great way to show you the prices comparing them. So let's just take domestic beer, for example. It's on your left. One, two, three, number four down. So the price per drink is $6.61. Now, if I had, now the next column says 15 drinks without the drink package. If I had 15 domestic beers in a 24-hour period, okay, my total would be $99.15. All right. Now, 
Now let's just think about this. Let's look all the way to the right. Now the whole thing says fifty-seven dollars and forty-four cents. What that is is a a price per day of the Cheers package. It breaks it down because you, you're taking forty-nine ninety-five plus your fifteen percent gratuity brings it up to fifty-seven forty-four per day as per person. Okay. So domestic beer. If I don't have a Cheers package and I get fifteen beers, I just paid ninety-nine dollars and fifteen cents. Hmm. Now, if I have the Cheers package, it's fifty-seven dollars and forty-four cents per day. So you take ninety-nine fifteen minus fifty-seven forty-four, you get forty-one dollars and seventy-one cents. It's right there under savings for fifteen drinks per day. So as you can see, that's the price difference between having the Cheers program and not having the Cheers program. You know, there's even a break-even point. Uh, break even drinks per day column here, which has the next beer is at seven. So once you get up to seven, you know, you're pretty much even. Once you go above seven, you kind of consider it free drinks. Okay. So you can look at the different prices compared. You know, some people might just drink beer. Um, you know, like me personally, I have some wine at dinner. Um, I love the frozen drinks and the cocktails, premium cocktails, classic cocktails, things like that. Mix and match all day. And you gotta think, you know, how much you you gotta you gotta go through your head. Am I a big drinker? Am I gonna drink this much? And say, you know, is it worth saving the money or spending the money? You know, biggest example I have, I, I do drink quite a bit when I'm on a cruise. My first my f first two cruises, I did not get the cheers package. Um, I ended up spending a lot more money than the cheers cost. And once I did some research and realized that I could save a lot more money by getting the Cheers package, I started getting the Cheers package. I get it on every cruise I go on now. Um, yeah, some say, oh, man, it's like, you know, I'm going on a cruise here real soon, and it cost me $804 for me and my wife on this next cruise we're going on. It's a seven-day cruise. I paid $804. Well, if I didn't pay that, I might be paying over $1,000 for drinks, so I can save a couple hundred dollars by doing this. But I know what I'm going to drink. If you're not a big, big drinker, if you're not going to hit those limits, it may not be worth it to get it. You may be losing money by getting it. So you have to sit down and just figure out. And look, you can use this list right here. I believe this is pretty accurate of the cost of the drinks on the ships. You can look at it and figure it out for yourself. Look, you know, how much do I really drink? And just remember, count those sea days that you have because on sea days, you're going to drink a lot more on that ship. You're going to drink less on the port days because you're not going to be in a ship as much. But you, you just average it out and, and figure it out for yourself. So like I say on top, it just depends on you. Are you a drinker or are you not a drinker, okay? And, uh, you know, that, that that's really the breakdown of, of everything here. And uh, so let's just talk a little more about a, a few more things. Hey, everybody. I really hope you uh, you got some good information from that little slideshow I did. I know it's a little long, but I want to explain everything correctly, uh, especially first-time cruises. I want you to understand what you're getting into when you buy that program, and is it worth it for you? Um, look, if you have any questions, comments, anything, just email me. Send me an email, superwhodatmancruises at gmail.com. Uh, I'll be happy to answer it. I'm going to make some more videos, especially like bubbles. And, um, you know, since I'm from New Orleans and I cruise out of New Orleans a lot, uh, I'll make a video of what, what to expect at the New Orleans port and uh, things to, you may want to do and explore the city. Um, but for now, look, if you have any questions, um, just send me an email. I'll be glad to answer them for you. Um, but one little thing that I want to want to talk to you about is that uh, recently on uh, one of my Facebook pages, um, somebody said something about, you know, they, they got a little mad because when you purchase your cruise, you pay your gratuity. Um, you know, th that gratuity when you purchase your cruise pays for your st room steward and your uh, dining room staff. Okay? That's split between them. Um, th usually that's why I prepay. And if th the service is way beyond what you, it usually is, I'll give a little more at the end. But you don't have to. If you prepay, you're, you're fine. Okay? But this person was asking, you know, why do they have to pay another gratuity for cheers if they already pay gratuity for the room? Well, you, you got to understand it, it, it's totally different. 
when you pay gratuity for the ship, like I said, you're paying for the your room steward and um, your dining staff. That's basically their tips. Okay, gratuity on the cheers package has nothing to do with them, and you have to think of it more as a tax, um, a 15% tax. Yeah, it's it's high, but you know, and then you gotta also think of it. Okay, it is a gratuity because your your tipping it's a tip for all the bartenders and um you know the waiters and waitresses that walk around the ship serving you drinks all day so think of it as their tip okay yes you are gonna if you want the cheers package you're gonna have to pay that 15 percent gratuity and that's just how it is you know personally i don't see a problem with it okay the believe me, if you've never been on a cruise you you're about to get treated like a king and a queen okay these people will wait on you hand and foot they will if, if you're nice to them, they're very nice to you, okay? It's just how it goes. This is your vacation. They want to make you happy. Um, you, you will not be disappointed. And if you are disappointed, all you got to do is go to customer service desk and tell them your gripes. Yes, sometimes they're not going to help you out all the way. But you got to remember, look, this is a business. They're making money, okay? You're paying an absolutely very low price for what you're about to experience and it, it's a great thing okay so that's just a little something i thought about um while making this video here is that you know the, the question i saw on um on one of the message boards um yes you do have to be a separate gratuity but you have to think of it as that's the tips for the bartenders or waiters or you think of it as a tax okay but listen any questions if you would like a video on a certain topic let me know send me an email send me a message something okay I'll be glad to make more videos um, I'm trying to I'm trying to get used to uh, to work in this uh, this MacBook Pro behind me um, not used to it so hey give me a little time and I'll make them better I'm about to go on a, another um, cruise here in about three weeks on a carnival dream going to Jamaica Grand Cayman and Cozumel so I'm have another video up pretty soon and uh, you know, I'm still working on, I started working on another video from last year when I was on a dream. So, hey, look, thank you for uh, watching my videos. Please subscribe to my channel, and I'll see y'all again later.